All right, in this how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to get two terabytes. That's right, terabyte, not gigabyte. Two terabytes of free online cloud storage. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to your web browser and you're gonna to go to pan.baidu.com. All right, let's see here, you got your QR code. We wanna to go to the sign up now link. This will bring us to the sign up page. Now, here you're gonna to wanna to do your phone number, but we first need to switch it to the USA. Add your phone number here. I recommend using a Google Voice number. Choose a username. Uh, since I already signed up for this once, we're just gonna use, uh, here we go. My test account, 42. Approved. Solve the puzzle picture here. All right, good. All right, and it can't send, uh, usually that would light up green and say uh, message sent, meaning it sent you the verification code. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to check your cell phone and enter the verification code they send you. Then choose a password. Uh, gotta have a capital letter, gotta have a number in there. Uh, that's pretty much how everything works nowadays. I'll put that in real quick and click registration. As you can see, it's saying that my phone number, there we go, successfully registered. And it takes me to my Dropbox style uh, file manager here. So I'll just close that out. And as you can see, we currently have 5G. Now I did test this with a previous account. It is five gigs. Now, if you see here right above it, you have a button that says free to retrieve 2048 gigs, also known as two terabytes. We're gonna wanna click that. This takes us to a very loud page that says Baidu network disk using the mobile terminal get 2048 G permanent free capacity. It's a horrible translation, but what it means is if you download their Android or the iPhone app, install it and log in using your phone, you'll get two terabytes for free. That's all you have to do. Now the thing I don't care for, and I'm gonna put a picture up here right now, this is the permissions for the app. They're ridiculous. They look like Hacker Central. This is gonna be used to look at all your contacts, look at everything else. Luckily, I have a spare Android phone laying around that I never use for anything. It's been wiped clean. So I basically booted that up, did not log an account, and installed the app using that. I felt much safer doing that. I even jumped on public Wi-Fi from my house, a local Comcast hotspot. But once you decide what to do with that, download the app for either Android or iPhone and install it to your device. Now let's move on to showing what you do after that. You start it up, go here, click next, click install. After installed, you're just gonna hit the blue button here. Then you're gonna enter your username, password, and click log in. You might be asked to uh, solve a little CAPTCHA thing, but it's in English, so don't worry about it. Uh, if you have to do that, enter the CAPTCHA and then click log in. After that, feel free to log out of it, erase it from your phone, do whatever you wanna do. You don't need it anymore. And if we take a look at the bottom left-hand corner, there we go. We can see that it now says 1031G. Now don't freak out about it. That is just over uh, one terabyte, but as soon as you pass that amount, it'll bump it up to the full two terabytes. This has been tested by a lot of people and it does it every single time. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you wanna keep the app on your spare phone or on your real phone, that's fine. Like I said, I'm just warning you, that's a lot of crazy permissions. So I'm choosing not to. But personally, I love having two free terabytes to just upload whatever the hell I want to. So if this helps you out, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below. If you need help, I'll try my best to answer any questions.